Hello everybody, this is P-Town. Welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory. Today I'm wearing my super sweet, amazing Technicolor glasses. <laughs> they don't really do a whole lot. Actually, I think they might give me, they give me like one armor point and they do something else to do with camouflage colored blocks that I'm not really sure, but I'm just wearing them because they look awesome. <laughs> so today, uh, we've got some automation stuff on the way, I think. I've got a lot of crafting to do, uh, but I wanted to show you guys this. I got this builder's wand from one of those um, goodie bags we got from the mob farm over there. And it is amazing. It just places a ton of blocks at once. I feel like it's a bit of an in-game item. Um, but it automatically takes these blocks from my inventory, like of this dirt, uh, which I've gotten using this dirt essence, which is amazing. We're, we are going to farm up so much essence crops, it's going to be ridiculous. So I've just been using this to expand the platform really quickly, actually. It's, yeah, bam. Bam, I'm probably out of blocks. Yeah, I am out of blocks. <laughs> so then I take the watering can. Here it is. And this speeds up the growth of grass immensely, which is awesome. Oh, yeah. Look at how fast this grass can grow. <laughs> Watching grass grow has never been so much fun. Yeah, it's awesome. I think the way this can works, I think it just kind of gives blocks an update more frequently. And maybe sometimes grows plants. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but I think it just... So the way grass usually spreads is uh, as a block receives a tick, a random tick, it has a chance for grass to spread to it, I believe. Or maybe it's if the grass block receives a tick, then it has a chance to spread to other blocks. So um, at any rate, this kind of accelerates the process. So looking good. This is not necessary. I'm just expanding this platform because it's pretty. I missed the color green because <laughs> we were over there. So... Let's get to the crafting. It is time for us, now that we've got a decent source of redstone, which, by the way, I've been farming up some redstone essence. The way this works, you just take the redstone essence in a crafting table and you get 24 per 8. So that's awesome. I'd really like to automate this farm, which is what we're going to start with today after we get our power situation sorted out. So I was looking at all of the different generator options we have. They're provided by extra utilities, and so this is the pink generator. I think this is how you turn pink into power. Uh, in that achievement book, we have high temperature furnace. I think it's just kind of like an induction smelter, but a generator instead. Uh, Nether star, which we don't have. <laughs> Culinary generator, which burns food, potions, solar generator, which could be good. I don't think it produces too much power, but um, that could be interesting. But I'm interested in this, the Ender Generator. Since we've got so many Ender Pearls from this farm here, it produces a ton of power, apparently, according to the wiki. So let's go ahead and craft us one of these. Oh, I'm totally remembering the recipe. Totally remembering the recipe. I remembered it. Hey, that's amazing. Okay. Let's just plunk this down somewhere. Uh, we don't need these barrels anymore, actually. Oh, check this out. Four smits, yo. It's like an axe, and a shovel, and a pickaxe, I think. It's at least two of those things. Definitely an axe. So, gener inter generator, maybe just, doop, sweet. Okay. So, we just feed it inter pearls, I believe. And, okay, it's producing power. 80 redstone flux per tick, I believe. And it lasts for, whoa. I gave it one ender pearl and that lasts for 20 minutes. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. 40. Okay, we've got 40 minutes of power being produced right here. Now we want that power portable, so let's go ahead and make a uh, leadstone casing. It's not a casing. What is it called? Uh, I couldn't remember by the time I was finishing the recipe. And I think I need a block as well. Leadstone energy cell frame. I believe that's what it's called. We'll find out here in about three seconds. Yeah, leadstone energy cell frame. Okay, good. So I remembered that recipe. Um, we need to make this into an actual energy cell, so we need to take these conductants. Uh-oh, here's the part where I forget the recipe. Um, wait, wait, I got it, I got it. Bam, awesome. Okay, cool. So this is like portable power. We can put a whole bunch of redstone flux in here via the generator. And it goes straight in. That's awesome. It takes 80 per tick, which is perfect because it's what this that's what this produces. Yeah, we've got a lot of power stored up here. And this thing can hold 400,000 redstone flux. 
So that's a nice start. Now you can upgrade these with like Invar, I think, to produce stuff. What is that? Do you see that floating thing right there? Hold on. Is it just a cat with a hat? Cat in the hat? Yeah, it's just a cat in the hat. <laughs> the cat in the hat. So, all right. So, sweet. We've got the power. Now, we got the power. We, uh, we want to automate this stuff. And I think the best way to do that is with these. And I'm going to look at the... Yeah, Mine Factory Reloaded Harvester. This thing can check an area and harvest crops and trees. Uh, we're going to use it for crops. And we're going to use this recipe because it's cheaper than this one. I think they were supposed to disable this, but since they didn't, we're going to take advantage of the fact that that's much easier to make. And I already forgot the recipe. Oh, no, I didn't. I remembered. Cool. So there's our harvester. And we also want a planter. Which will plant this stuff automatically. Okay. Something like this. These are actually really cheap. Well, that was easy. Okay, cool. And then we need energy conduit. Uh, just to get pipe energy around. Just like that. And that can take 80 redstone flux per tick. Perfect. So we can throw the rest of that redstone here. Oh, we're going to have so much redstone. Alright, so. Uh, let me grab some... Let me think. What should, what should we use to build out of today? Uh, how about more wood? <laughs> Uh, we've got a lot of this stuff. Let's use some force wood. Too much stuff, actually. It's taking up too much inventory in that chest. Which, by the way, the chests are a major problem. We need to look into some of the cooler storage solutions this mod pack has to offer. Stat. Um, for sure. Okay, that should be enough slabs. Oh, by the way, um, before we get too far into this, check out... Let's open some goodie bags. Before we check out what I want to check out. Oh, plus we're full. So yeah, let's get some more space in here. Look, yeah, look at all these ender pearls. Let's go ahead and just grab a few more. We can just chuck them in. I wonder how much that thing is almost full. Oh, we shouldn't put any more ender pearls in there. We can't really hold the power. Well, this thing can hold a lot of power. It can hold more than this. But we've only burned off like a few minutes. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, uh, we're not going to put Ender Pearls in there because we're going to need some more powerful stuff. This must be like a more end game generator than I thought, which is cool. So, all right, let's open some bags for fun. Oh, I got another one. Okay, well, this is what I was going to show you. <laughs> I got a Thaumonomicon, and that is what you need to start Thaumcraft. So, that will be fun. Some shiny ingots and some more safari balls. And I'm already almost out of space. So let's put this stuff... What is this? Electrical steel? Yeah, this is going to be awesome. Um, sorry, doing inventory sorting on camera is not always a great idea. Blah, blah, blah. Just get in the chest. Don't worry about it. Put it in the chest. Sort out later. <laughs> Alright, goodie bag number three. Okay, good. Not, not bad. Stick it in the chest. Okay, cool. Um more goody stuff yeah okay so not super exciting let's just bust out the last one real quick goodbye flower um another division sigil so i'm not really sure how many of these i actually need i think only one but i've got a million and nowhere to put them so let's just crap uh <laughs> maybe i shouldn't open up all those bags on camera my mistake um these things have a home already some of them do good Okay, sweet. So, uh, it's raining. Give me a second to mess up, mess with my inventory and get it all sorted. <laughs> Whoops. My, my bad. <laughs> if you're wearing a funny hat, you gotta die. All right, so considering how fast that leadstone energy cell was filling up, I went ahead and made it a hardened energy cell. And I'm actually making, this is another hardened energy cell. Uh, cause this, this one over here is like, yeah, halfway full, a bit over halfway full. And we need it. And this thing is pretty much full too, which is crazy. I think <laughs> maybe just one. That's a lot of energy from one hundred pearl. That I don't know. That seems a little bit cheaty, considering how easy it is to get them. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I won't worry my conscience too much about it. I just kind of just picked it because we have ender pearls, so not my problem. <laughs> 
Oh, it is a little bit. So anyway, yeah, we've got this energy cell. If I dismantle it with the, what is it? The crescent hammer, it doesn't lose its energy as you can see. So here is our little setup. Right now, these don't have any range upgrades. So yeah, that's where that would go if I had one. So we need to charge these up. So uh, I've got a little work platform under here. I think the best place would probably be actually directly beneath it. Can it receive power that way? Bloop. Um, maybe not. So, hmm. Because this thing is definitely not, if I right click it, hmm. Well, do I have to give it a pipe directly? Because in that case I could just put it, let's see, we could just do conduit here, and then energy cell, then conduit. No? Weird. Uh, do these have to be certain... Is this thing gaining power? It is not. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Let me figure this out real quick. Something ate. Something ate right here. Alright guys, I got it to work. It was actually not that big of a deal. I just <laughs> forgot to set the uh, output panels on the configuration tab here. So anyway, um, everything should be ready to go. We'll just fill this last piece of dirt in, like so, and then we'll till it. Oh, actually, we need to give it some seeds, I think, which I've got loads of right here. It's awesome. These, The fact that these plants give you extra seeds make them, like, way awesome because than they could have been, because otherwise you would have had to make each individual seed, which would have taken a lot of stuff. So if I just stick it here... And then just, is this the, its inventory? Oh, did it just plant them all? Oh, it did. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now we just need to get them to grow. Let me turn particles back on now that it stopped raining. There we go. Oh, look at all these pretty particles. <laughs> this is awesome. I think there may be a way to speed up the growth process too. I'm very interested in that. But... Yeah, I tried putting this watering can in a uh, autonomous activator and setting it to right click. And as soon as I did, it broke the watering can. <laughs> it crushed it. And it actually had a little tab on it that said, it looks like, okay, oh, it harvested. Is it going to harvest that too? It did. Okay, cool. So it's outputting right here, which makes sense because that's where the little, the little item anus is. <laughs> so we are going to... Extend that platform a little bit so we don't die right <laughs> by falling straight away. Okay, there we go. One more. Cool. These are actually mineable with a pick, not a axe. Okay, so stuff is popping out. We need to go ahead and just boop, get it in there. And can we just route that straight into the bottom there? Yeah, we'll need our wrench there. Oh wait, that's in. Okay, and the red arrow is out. So let's just red arrow out. Okay, and I think I need to power these. I have one lever at my disposal. Or is it automatically st sending stuff? Oh wait, I need to set that filter correctly. Um... I'll watch it for a second and make sure it's actually sending stuff. Sweet. It looks like everything is working well. And what's actually awesome about this, these item ducks are really smart. Um, I've got a chest right here where all the items are output from the back of this harvester. And the item ducks can tell whether or not an inventory is suitable to place items from the inventory it's taking from. That was a weird way to say that. But basically, it knows to put seeds only in the planter but to leave the essence in this chest. So we've got a fully automated little farm here. Now we can expand this uh, with size upgrades and or range upgrades and stuff with this little slot here, which I think we'll do. So it'll be nice to have like a big nine by nine area or seven by seven. Um, so that's awesome. That's gonna accumulate free redstone for us. And we can do that with pretty much any resource imaginable. So awesome. Uh, we'll look into ways of increasing the growth rate for these plants 
Probably in the future, I may do that between episodes, but for now, I'd like to head back and check out the Thaumonomicon a little bit, because Thaumcraft has always interested me, even back when people were doing like the Feed the Beast stuff. I thought that was really cool, but I never had a chance to do it myself. Oh, here it is. Uh-huh. All right. Um, so, I, this is the very first time opening the book, and I don't know what this means. Okay, we got a lot of reading to do. This is basically all the aspect information. We have a Thaumonomicon. Right. Uh, knowledge fragments. Oh, these are the things. We've gotten some of these. Okay. Fragments of knowledge can on occasion lead to a false theory. Okay, so there's a lot to do with research and stuff. Basically, what we need to do first is craft ourselves a wand. And I think I can use these. Actually, I need ingots for little nuggets first. We can do it with this force stick. Sure can't. All right. <laughs> Whoops. See, force stuff seems to not necessarily agree with other mods all the time in in many many complex ways that I don't feel like getting into right now. But basically it's like Oh, maybe I'm an idiot. Uh hold on. How do you make the wad? Maybe that's maybe I'm just stupid. <laughs> that's the problem. Uh, research, hold on. Okay, wait, maybe I think it's just a, uh, just a regular recipe. Iron cap, wooden wand. Oh, you need to make iron caps. Oh, you need five each. I am stupid, that was the issue. <laughs> I'm not stupid, I was just uninformed. Cool, oh, we only need two of those bad boys. And can we use the force stick? We can, I take it back. Darkcraft is a lovely mod, and everybody should play it. <laughs> so, okay. Before you can build most thaumaturgical items and blocks, you first need to discover how to do so. Explore the world and examine with a thaumometer. Use a research table and more research table. Oh, maybe it's not thaumometer. Thaumometer. <laughs> so, you need scribing tools and paper to get this research note. Cool. Uh... Sweet. How do I do anything? Do I need to... First thing you would need to do is construct a thermometer. See the next page. Cool. I need a workbench and shards. How do I get these shards? Time to do some research in the crafting recipe. Here we go. Um, shards. Infused shard essence. Hmm which can sometimes be gotten by slamming sandstone. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to grind out some sandstone real quick then. That was easy. Be right back. All right, so after grinding out an absurd amount of sandstone, I can verify that either this 10% drop chance is BS <laughs> or something's borked about smashing sandstone with the hammer to get this shard. But there is another shard we can use for the thermometer using... We can use this order shard that we get from obsidian, and it's got a much higher drop chance, so I think that may be a better bet. So I've done some obsidian here in the igneous extruda, and this may take a little bit of time, but the stone, stone hammer should smash this. Oh, we'll definitely want to use vein miner on this. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to speed this up or skip it or something. <laughs> Oh, hey, that did it. We got one. Sweet. Okay, I was actually surprised. I was kind of thinking we wouldn't because of the sandstone deal. Um, I think we actually need two for the thermometer, so I'm going to go ahead and bust out some more until we get another one. Here I go. All right, new tactic. The obsidian is taking an absurd amount of time, and I think that 25% thing is off as well. So, <laughs> now we can get uh, earth shards, apparently. Also at a 10% chance by smashing grass. So since grass is way easier to get than obsidian, because I've just about exhausted all of my gravel as well. Or not gravel, uh, lava. Oh, hey, we got one. Cool, oh, this is working. Is that it? Is that all I need? Can I use two different kinds of shards? Answer me, Thaumonomicon. <laughs> we just need glass and gold. I got glass and gold. I got glass and gold for days. All right, let's do that. Well, that was way easier. I wish I hadn't wasted all my lava on obsidian. I still need to set up that 
infinite lava generator. Okay, we need gold and a piece of glass, which I have in abundance. Here it is. All right, sweet. So just one and in the middle. Shards on the top and the bottom and like this. Oh, sweet. Thermometer check. Research. How do I research? Um, that's weird. Not like that. How do I do it? Answer me, Thamanama Mama Mama Thama Kama Chameleon. Um Just right click it. Discover an aspect by gaining something. Do do do. Okay. The very first time you discover an aspect by examining something, you gain two more research points. Okay, so chest. Whoops. Oh, okay, there we go. Is that working? You do not have all the knowledge required to understand this, and the particles are back on. Hmm. Okay, I do have these knowledge fragments. If I right-click them, it gives me research points. Um, so that's cool. Hmm, can I research this creeper head? Nope, don't have the knowledge for it. Don't have the knowledge. I got dirt. I have discovered Lux. I don't have all the knowledge for that. Hmm, okay, cool. This looks like my kind of jam. Just researching stuff. Researched. <laughs> Researched. Researched. Okay. Sweet. Well, this is getting real obnoxious in a hurry. I'm going to do a bit of reading. I don't want to do a whole bunch of reading on the camera. Um, and this episode is probably getting pretty long. So, uh, in the meantime, I'm, I might expand this farm just a little bit. Get the cats off. Because I don't want cats crawling all over my stuff. Um, but yeah, getting some good stuff done. And next episode, we're going to go crazy. So... Thanks, everybody, for watching. I forgot I had the shades on. They look ridiculous. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sky Factory. And I will see you again next time.